I carried great bitterness all my life. I wanted to prove men wrong. I, where I couldn't fight for myself, every man was going to pay for that day. And so many people paid, whether I realized it or not. And the disrespect for men, my life changed and I just started having this hate for men. Molesting is the worst thing you can go through because I was so young, I was helpless. This was somebody who was meant to protect me. They took advantage of my innocence and you're watching someone do something and there is nothing you can do about it. I think when there's a battle, people need to understand first who is their real enemy. We are beginning to imagine our enemy if I'm a woman is a man. The men are beginning to see that the women are their biggest enemy. I'm a man carries a certain dimension of God, a different dimension. A woman, a different dimension of God. When a man and a woman come together, a full dimension of God is seen through them, through their partnership. And that's why Satan wants to make sure there is a war between men and women. When people are going for dates, a man sends the woman or the girl fair for what? If you, that woman cannot afford fare, she has no business dating. Yeah. Because you're not dating, it means some areas in your life, you've not worked on it. If you cannot stand on your feet, it means so many things, so you should not be in the dating yes. games. A uh, very good morning to you and a warm welcome to LNS Rebuilding Edition. My name is Lynn Googie. Now, I want you to imagine this. Huh? You're just there on Instagram, then there's a live, and then you catch it, and then someone is praying for you, and then they are prophesying about you, and then they are like, may God bless Lynn Googie. She's going to do great things. And then you just look at it in disbelief, and you are like, is she talking about me? Because this woman has been, she doesn't even know it, but she has been my mom's favorite for a long time. When we were watching TV, she would always be like, Niweke Cynthia, Niweke Cynthia. So mom, this is for you. I am doing this episode number one for you. And number two, because I believe, I can't also believe that I'm sitting next to her because ever since I started talking to this woman, all she has ever done is speak great things into my life. Even off camera, like two minutes ago, she was just like, Lynn, what are you doing here? When are you doing the US tour? When will you be doing this and this and this? And sometimes I look at myself and I'm like, am I really that much? You know, that that ka, that ka nini, what is this thing called? The one that you don't believe that you are what people are saying you are. Yeah, we'll figure it out. The name is right here on the screen, that one. And for me, it just gives me so much grace to be able to host her and let's know how she's rebuilding her life because this woman, she's an enigma. She's been, she sat with the who is when she still remains humble. She walked in with flowers and she's just like, God, where are such in incredible people in our life who are, we are able to just look at and just admire and say no matter what happens to me if Cynthia made it I can make it as well I will not extend this introduction any further I'm about to let her introduce herself but before I do that guys you know I have to say thank you so much to our partners at Kings Developers Limited for coming through for this episode I've said it numerous times if you are looking for an apartment a housing project and you do not know who to invest with, check out Kings Developers Limited for affordable housing. I saw certified, which means years later you don't come for me and say, Lynn, you're the one who sent us there. I'm only giving you credible and people who will not con you out of your hard earned money. So check them out. And of course, to say thank you so much for being incredible supporters of our work. It's rebuilding season two. And this series, sometimes I feel like I'm doing it for myself because all all it has done is fill into my cup, fill into my cup, fill into my cup. And I can't wait, guys, for you to take home great notes from today's conversation. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please allow me to let this beautiful guest that we have all seen before introduce herself. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm blushing. God, you are? <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> not too, so kind no, of you. Lee. No, 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 no. Thank it's you, Lee. It's not. It's yes. not. I'm not saying it because you're sitting I know, here. I'd even forgotten about the Instagram. Yes. 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 That one day I just prophesied yeah. about you, and God was. I remember that day I saw you, and I was just seeing the nations have opened up for you, and I was just seeing you in the UK, in the US, and God was saying because of the pure heart that you have and the need to actually just educate people give them a better life make you know society have an understanding mm. of the problems and things that people go through yeah. god said because you have the heart of god wow. he's opening up the nations for you and what you have been doing uh people don't get it you can't just go to a nation and you're able to interview people and they open up like the way you have yeah. it's god who opens those doors and he's opening more and more wow. uh, doors for you. You must yes. do the US tour. We I, will I, push <laughs> to support you. <laughs> I will. I will. Yes, I will. Yes, it's yes. such an honor to mm. have you here. Because back in my days, mm -hmm. grow, not like growing up, because yes. I was already a grown up, mm -hmm. but in my struggling yes, phase yes. and me trying to ask myself, do I really want this job? Because mm. I felt like I had faced rejection yes. a lot of times. Yes. And I felt that, like you could enter into a reception mm. and they don't even look at you twice. Yes. And you kept asking yourself, mm. why am I even doing these mm. demos? Why mm. do I keep dropping these demos? You know? yes. And then you go home and then my mom mm. is a great fan. Yes. My mom wow. loves, loves. Please pass my love tell you, to her. you yes. Janet Bugwa, yes. Lulu Hasa, like my mom has just this great love yes. for for you and mm. she would be like niweke cynthia yeah. niweke cynthia wow. and in my heart mm. and this i feel like everyone goes through this phase yeah. I was so, I, I, I felt I was hurting at some point yeah. because I kept asking myself, mm. why would my mom ever watch me yeah. on TV? Yeah. God, we can't cry now. Yeah. But when will my mom ever watch me yes. like this? Like, like, will I even make mm. it on a screen? Yeah. No. And Kumbe God had a bigger plan for you. <laughs> this will not happen. <laughs> This God, was, God had a bigger plan and it's interesting because what you do on YouTube, yeah. I had a show um, called the Cynthia Nyamaya yes. show and yes. it was on YouTube. Yeah. I can never get to the numbers that you have because we all have different callings. You've been able to dominate uh, when it comes even oh. to the internet, social media. I even look at, I usually watch your show, I'm like, I'm looking up to you, I'm like, wow, yes. I love what Lynn does and on Lynn can do oh, what you do. Thank so you. thank you for watching me. I'm now the one watching you <laughs> and looking up no, to I you. I feel like we watch each other because yeah. you are like a, a Wikipedia. Yeah. Because even there are moments in my life mm. I felt mm. what's next for yeah, me. Yeah. And there are those people you go and look. I, mm. I just check on Abel Mutu and then yes. I just come to your mm. platform and I'm seeing how are these people able to diversify? Yes. Well, how are they able to still remain so grounded? Mm. And still, because I feel like you live your purpose every single yes, day. Yes. And for me, my greatest fear is if it ever comes the time when I don't have this, yeah. what will I wake up yeah. to? But you, you are able to live your purpose in mm. different nations. Mm. You meet the presidents. You yes. sit across the presidents. Yes. You bring like really powerful people mm. even here for ministry. Yes. And I just more grace to you because yeah. you've paved way for yeah. a lot yes. of us mm. who at some point we lost faith because you can imagine i'm watching you in huruma mm. i'm watching your face in huruma yes, yes. and my mind mm. and i'm just seeing how my mom is just looking at you with so much admiration yes. and in my heart i want it yeah. i'm like god keep mm. giving me the strength and the grace yes. to make my mom yeah. this happy yeah. and now she's watching and she's like <laughs> <laughs> that's what she tells me about my clothes but uh, our is, mother is my mom is always like now you're a lady. <laughs> In fact, now that I'm in ministry, she told me, now at least we will not be fighting about the length of your dresses and skirts. We should have a meeting of your mother and, and my mom. Yes. And they'll come fair would, notes. Oh. But I'm, my mom is always like, please wear a longer, please wear, but now naturally, naturally. Also because of now getting into ministry, yes. my clothes. In fact, one day the Holy Spirit <laughs> just took me to my wardrobe and told me, remove that dress, remove that dress. I, I'm like, I love this one. He's like, remove yes. that dress, yeah. remove, and then it started teaching me my mm. life. 
-hmm. is not my own it belongs to god oh yes. that must including be my legs including they your legs. To god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i'm not about to go to another point without letting you introduce yourself <laughs> I can't do the way I did with Abel. Come on, <laughs> just then we can just get it out of the way. So my name is Cynthia Yamai. Yeah. I am a businesswoman. I'm also a journalist, a news anchor at KBC, and also I run a ministry called Rig East Africa Restoration of the Isakas Generation. Yes. And I'm Lynn's biggest fan. Yeah. Oh, yes. and my big sister. <laughs> exactly. And, and thank you for paving way, mm. Cynthia. Like mm. on me, I don't believe the way you've brought me those beautiful flowers. Yeah. I don't believe in giving people their flowers mm. later on in life. Yeah, I, you've I done. You are among I the agree. women. We put you with the Catherine Kasav, mm. the late Catherine mm. Kasavuli, yes. the amazing Sophie Kenya. Mm. We we gotta we put you with the Julie Gishurus, yes. you know. Thank and now you. we have the Cynthia Nyamais. Yes. And for us, we feel Thank like we have our own Aman exactly. We have our yes. own. I don't yes. have to cross borders exactly. to get that much motivation. Mm. It's mm. right here yes. so for me it's the believability of yeah. uh, she is here mm. not by sheer luck yes. by hard work yes. and i can also make it mm -hmm. there so and do much more. and do much exactly. more so congratulations you. on all your achievements thank you so much you know yeah. and you're so lovable mm. thank I've, you. I've had the privilege <laughs> to meet you even before even yes, before yes. and nothing about you mm. changes yes. you still the same person mm. same mm. grace mm. You don't force yourself into a situation, yes. which is what I'm learning a yeah, lot yeah. from you. So more yeah, grace to you. you. But thank that was you. Lynn and Cynthia <laughs> catching up. <laughs> that was Lynn and Cynthia catching uh, up. Uh, we have an amazing series here, Dubbed Rebuilding. Yes. And I was telling you, this series is very personal for me because mm. I feel like I have sat across a lot of broken souls. Yes. And we've cried a mm. lot. We've cried, yeah. we've shed a lot of tears. Yeah. And I felt as a way to give back and show them, mm -hmm. it's okay for you to be there, yes. but I need you to understand that you can't stay there. Exactly. You can't stay exactly. there. I will bring you people who yes. have been where you've been mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. and let them walk you yes. through how they got mm -hmm. out of that place. Yes. So maybe to start, mm -hmm. in your life, mm -hmm. what areas are you rebuilding right now mm -hmm. or are you rebuilding anything? Um, in, you know, Lynn, wh one thing I like about you is yeah. that there's a way what you're doing has so much purpose. Yeah. And I know yours isn't so much like full ministry and everything, yeah. but there's a way you move exactly with what God is doing. Yes. We are in the time of Nehemiah where we are rebuilding. It is, and it's funny, it's a time of one hand. In fact, yesterday I was teaching people and telling them with one hand you're going to fight wars, with the other hand you're rebuilding. That is the time that we are in. And your shows are so, people send me your shows after I've preached saying, Lynn is actually interviewing on exactly what you're prophesying wow. about. And it's time for rebuilding. It's time for rebuilding for Africa. We have have to go back to what God called us for. It is time to build our churches, uh, going back to the order of the church. Mm -hmm. uh, people have been conned in churches. Uh, so much hurt has been happening in the church. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you bring up some of yes. those interviews mm -hmm. because it is time for the church to look at themselves, yeah. the damage that they have caused yes. uh, and begin to rework on those damages. Mm -hmm. Also the good work that they have done and continue yeah, to, to work do. on that mm. uh, it's time for families to rebuild mm -hmm. we have stolen the place of men especially in Kenya we have that problem the women have decided to be men even in the family you can't tell who is the father and who is the mother everyone is wearing trousers everyone is commanding the home we have serious issues in our nation that has caused us so much pain and that pain is forcing us to look at ourselves and to rebuild mm -hmm. and to want the generations after us this is where we have made the mistakes don't so i am also rebuilding i went through a very difficult time um in Uganda, where I found myself having lived the high life, all the high profile jobs, and at one point had nothing. Switching off, you know things are bad when we switch off your fridge because there is no food. Uh, or having to make a decision, one time I was so sick, do I buy food or medicine? 
And when you buy the medicine, you vomit because there's nothing in your stomach. It. Yes. And you feel like the lowest of the lowest. In fact, I would look at a dog and say, a dog is better than oh. me. Because at least the dog is being fed. At least, you know, your integrity, everything is, is taken from you that you're like, oh my goodness, I'm a nothing. I've been there. And I thank God because it helped me to begin to separate myself from a lot of nonsense in my life mm. and that society has been teaching us. Mm. There are systems that wait for us from the day you are born and begin to tell you, you need to do, you need to do. A human being goes to school. A hum in fact, for me, I'm like, my children will go to a different kind of schooling. They will do what their God has called them wow. for. Yes. So even for if I, for my firstborn son, because God has told me my firstborn will be a son, wow. I have already planned his schooling. And as I'm doing my business and even doing ministry, a lot of times we'll be traveling, his schooling will be different. Yes. Because there is a way the systems of the world, the Babylonian system from day one, ha wait for us. Even in the hospital, you must have even an English name for what? Who said? When you, when you Even things in the church, are, some of them are such Babylonian system and I've realized they have been preparing us partly f to able to rule Africa and also the other thing mm. to accept the Antichrist mm. when he comes. So I have now been rebuilding, removing the things that are not meant for my life, oh. questioning things. Even when I watch news, I question myself, is that thing actually true? Does it make sense? And a lot of things you begin to ask questions, you realize we've been fed a lot of rubbish from when we were kids. Look at the books we were read for in nursery to learn you, to teach you how to uh, read Cinderella, Cinderella had a ball dress. What is a ball dress? Here in Africa, to Fanyangis of it. You know, I should have been taught things like Cinderella. Actually, Mwende was cooking very nice mudokoi. Yes. Yeah, to Kamau teach me. Exactly. Farmer. To teach me that being a farmer and a Kamau is a good thing. Is a success story that I can look up to. That there can be a Ben in the US and that is the life they have been called for. And there is a Kamau in Kenya and that is the life they have been called for. And all their lives are good so long as you live according to the life yes. God called you for. Oh. So I am rebuilding my systems. Wow. And I found for me my best best uh, foundation is God. I am reading scripture and I've been teaching. We just finished the series of, of, of Egypt. Mm -hmm. um, and we see in of I mean of uh, yes of Egypt yeah. in Exodus, yeah. and we see the children of Israel. Pharaoh looked at them and said, "These people are stronger than us. One day they can take over. Mm. They can overrule. It looks like God is with them. They multiply. They are stronger. What can we do?" So he came up with a system to enslave them, and it is a system until today we have where the weaker ones rule the stronger ones. Right now the fight we have in Africa, even in West Africa. And we're seeing some sentiments, uh, yeah, even, yeah. even in South Africa, we saw the BRICS meeting. Yes. What is going on is that the stronger ones, Africa are saying, look, we have the resources, we have the people, we have the right culture. The world needs us. We don't need. We world. don't. We don't have to sit and do things according to how you want and enslave us. You cannot be controlling our minerals. You cannot tell us, like I saw in Uganda, you can't go and tell a country because they will not allow uh, and have LGBTQZW. Because if they always change. Yes. And tell them because of that they will not get loans. Who are you to go tell Uganda that? They believe they have a different system. You can't trade their children for loans. And Africa now is saying, we are, by the way, the stronger ones. Let us sit at the table as equals. And uh, it is a word that God gave me of the overturn, uh, that a lot of things are going to shift and change. I really like that you're going to the West uh, a lot because even then they are about to have a very serious shakeup, including financial, even their financial institutions. And as you're there, you will give people a lot of uh, hope because there is a shakeup in this world and people must align with it and what God wants to do. 
do in Africa. Yeah. So we are rebuilding. We are rebuilding our way of thinking. We are re uprooting the systems that are not of God and putting systems that are of God. And systems of God, you will not see poverty. You will not see some people living a good life and others dying of hunger. We will not see our children trying to cross over to Europe and dying in the water. What kind of world are we living in? You know, I look at those pictures, I'm like, and our children being mistreated in the West, being stamped on be just because of their color. Mm. That season has ended. It is ending with us. We are making a stand. We are rebuilding and we are saying no more. Wow. No more. No more. Jesus. So we are rebuilding. We are rebuilding. We Left, are re right. Every area of Mindset, our life. systems, yes. structures, everything. everything. Yes. God, I want to touch on something you mm. said because mm. what are the chances? I had a conversation with Daddy Owen and we yes. went deeper, yeah. especially on the boy child, mm, right? Mm. I've had the privilege to interview a lot of women yes. and I'm not blind to mm. issues yes. that affect women in our society. Mm. But I've also noticed a narrative has started mm -hmm. about the men in yes. our society. Yes. And for me, I told him, I just dislike that it's now a battle between exactly, men and women because exactly. I'm already here, I'm empowered. Yeah. I can't shrink, yes, Cynthia. Yeah. I, I will not yeah, shrink, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. But I've also noticed that if we don't watch out, mm. there's a crisis yes. that we won't be able to control. Yes. When you say women are taking mm. over, mm. when you say men are nowhere mm. to be seen, yes. what do you mean and what do we need to start doing? I think when there's a battle, people need to understand mm. first who is their real enemy. We are beginning to imagine our enemy if I'm a woman is a man. I'm beginning to imagine, and I see it even on Saturdays uh, on Twitter, there's something that goes on that just belittles women. Yes. The men are beginning to see that the women are their biggest enemy. Uh, and to be honest, the battle is not a battle of sexes. The real battle is that um, Satan and these systems know yes. if you want to take people down, a nation down, bring such battles and begin first by finishing the men. Any society without the men, because of the mandate that God gave them, is finished. It is over. Even for me in my life, in my career, I must have men who cover me. I honor my dad regardless because he's my cover. Mm -hmm. I honor the spiritual men over my life. They are my, my cover. I cannot do without mm -hmm. them. There are things I can never, even like when I have um, security uh, and, 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 and say like my bodyguard, I can never give him my handbag to carry for me. I understand as much as, and I've worked in police, and, and yes, there are yes. rankings and there's yes. a way he, he should carry mm. if my bag if I ask mm. and uh, and he's seen like he's my junior but in my head I know this is a man he's the head of the home in his family there is something he carries wow. despite ranks yes. that I do not carry yeah. and the and, and and but also uh, you see, we need to understand that Kenya went through a difficult time when we lost our fathers. And for me, it was my grandfather mm -hmm. who had to go fight the World War uh, II. Two. Our parents grew up without their fathers. fathers. By the time their fathers came back, the family unit had learnt. And you see, these are systems brought on Africa. Mm -hmm. We did not say apply for those things. We were forced. My grandfather came back a changed man. Men who go to war don't come back the same. So they were unable to continue running their families. After that, a lot of our grandfathers were forced to fight Mau Mau and live in the forest. So we have a generation of our parents who yes. lived without their fathers and learned how to live without the fathers. Mm -hmm. And in a way, it is so painful. It makes the woman retaliate. The protection of men is crucial. Without it, you don't function well. When we don't know the purpose of things, we misuse those things. Wow. So we began to see, okay, these men are not providing. Yes. There's a, a notion I see people have so much where they see the work of a man is to provide. I tell people, yes, the father or the man is the head of the home. My provider is God. If I want a house in Runda, I'll not go telling my husband to be wherever he is. Mm. 
tutafanya vitu hivi kwa nyumba yetu i will not tell my husband me i've seen a house in runda it i've seen it's a million dollars i've been checking they go for a million oh, dollars really? yes um and, <laughs> and i will not go tell him you know i have seen and you need to start supporting me and buying me a man buys the house no me i'll go on my knees to my father and i tell him you know what daddy i've seen a house i love it give me instructions of how this family can mm. get this home and in those prayers i know god will say, pray for your husband to get this deal it i'm the helper i'll be praying father I get help him to get this deal i'll even be yes. telling him my hubby at night when i slept i saw god said go to that place my work is to help him and even if he says stay at home now Cynthia I'll stay at home yeah. cook for him make sure that he can go out there and get what God has for him yes. my work is to make sure that he will uh, arrive to the purpose God has for him that he will do what is meant to do here on earth mm. and arrive in heaven mm. and God will say come my son you did well yes. your helper here really helped you yeah. that's my work as a woman My work is not to compete with that man and tell him you are my provider do this am I helping him yes. to provide uh -huh. and we are missing that thing that even when I see I used to ask people e kitu ya bus fare ni nini then someone explained ni to me fair yes. at when people are going for dates a man sends the woman fair. or the girl fare for what If you, that woman cannot afford fare, she has no business dating. Uh, yeah. Because you're not dating, it, it means some areas in your life, you've not worked on it. If you cannot stand on your feet, it means so many things, so you should not be in the dating yes. game. You should not, because yeah. we are not just dating for fun. Mm -hmm. We are dating for this thing too. You know, people do things without purpose. That's where we are getting hurt. You just do for our things. You're, you're going to see that man for what? Most likely you are going there then to use him you don't have a job you don't understand what it means work on those things first work on yourself before and we are going to each other even men are coming to us looking for things that they should already be having even me as a woman i'm not going to be in a relationship with a man because i'm desperate i'm lost i already know my purpose i am looking for a man aligned to my purpose and we do things together yes. but if you go in there without purpose at that date most likely you're going to use him get money for him or you, you want free or food you, you you are lazy you don't know where exactly. to spend your time exactly. you need company. exactly yes yeah. be wary use me, use yeah me. be wary of a girl who if you tell her kesho si ukuje tukutane if she just says yes ask yourself ko ni ako ame planea kesho amesema two years hivyo cancel that date quickly Even as a woman if i just see a man we meet today says hey can we have breakfast tomorrow you had not planned for your tomorrow the morning oh, you just oh. we just and the assumption to assume that i can be that free even tells me you don't know how yes. life moves mm. so it is a no from the beginning mm. yeah yeah do you think some women would think you are not supporting their movement you are not supporting this let's be independent we are independent mm -hmm. because some would argue mm -hmm. they also they are also operating on very unfair grounds yes. and they don't know how, like because i think for me the line i always try to draw mm -hmm. is between leadership and dictatorship mm, right because yes. how are you going to bow to not yes. even to bow how are you going to submit yes. to a dictator so sometimes mm -hmm. when it comes from a woman because mm. it's easier when it comes from a man yes. will be like i only want to want to but when yeah. it comes to from a woman it makes you sit back and rethink yes, yeah. how as a what, what's my place mm. in the society yeah. where do i fit in Cynthia? you know i asked god that question yeah. when when now i was rebuilding and uh, we would have dates with god mm. i'd sit on this balcony in a beautiful dates with place god? yes called muyenga yeah. but then he had told me uh Cynthia, new years he told me you've never asked me for marriage ask me for marriage i refused i said no god i've been we are not and i'm fine you know we are hurt so much in our society that we begin to do things outside the order of god mm -hmm. i was so okay i even would not mind hurting men and just even when somebody asked me that i'm like please don't even waste who wants a man for what you will help me with what and you know women there is a way yes. we can be very self sufficient uh so you are like how are you go look i me have made it in fact when a man now is sitting on you you have security you have just come from status you are asking a man what what will you bring to my life what are you adding what are, to yeah, my plate yeah what are you adding 
me I can add and it is from a place of heart <laughs> so I'm add. so hurt I was not seeing what the man can add and yes. the men can add much more mm. Uh, then the stories sometimes we are taught in life. We are taught the things men bring is shelter, but they bring much more important things than that. Mm. But out of my heart, I would always be ready to fight. You're asking me on a date in my head. I just see you want to use me, hurt me, so I'm ready. Mm. And it's a thing Defense I see mode. a lot, yes, in Kenya. Even as we are driving as women, you see a man driving a bigger car than you. You're like, he wants to show me he has a big car. Mm. Let me show you and sure. swap in front of you let there is a constant competition coming from a place of heart and so God told me ask me for marriage and I said no he said ask me for marriage I said okay so God so in the church we are told tell your neighbor next to you what you are believing God for he told me tell that person in fact the KCB MD former KCB MD <gasps> for Uganda I was like how do I tell a big man like this that I am expect he said tell him say it I said I'm expect I'm asking God for marriage this year he was like like, wow wonderful congratulations hey, yes. i'll be praying for you i'm like yes i'm in my head i'm like it's just because god said yes and then <laughs> but at the back of my head yeah. i'm hurt but i'm saying okay maybe because god has said it uh he has prepared for me this tall dark man i like dark men yes. so i'm like he's prepared for me tall dark man a dark man in my head i'm seeing it with a eh? I'm just thinking, who loves God? I used to tell God, give me a man who, on Fridays, our work, I like overnight prayers. Yes. We'll, he'll just be coming home, we have dinner. I, after that, I make a flask of tea. We sit by the fireplace, we pray until morning. I'm like, now this man has come. By the way, that is like almost four years ago. Mm. God takes us through a journey. So actually, maybe more than four. Yeah. So God tells me, wakes me up in the morning. The next day, he tells me, let's have a date. Come to the balcony. Go uh, send for Java. Uh, and we enjoy. So I'm enjoying this view. Uganda yeah. is extremely beautiful. Yeah. So I was living in a hill, looking at other hills in a place called Muyenga. And he, we started talking. And he says, I want to prepare you for marriage. I was like, God, I thought as I sit on this balcony, a hot neighbor will we'll pass by. by somebody a hot man i'll just see a tall man over my gate excuse me i'm lost Wapi, it was <laughs> god <laughs> you walk with something it yeah, falls yeah, on you it walk on for you and then in hollywood to <laughs> danganya <laughs> I was waiting yeah. to bump on someone yeah. on the street. Hey. Only see a tall man about hey. me. It is that yes. one. Yes. <laughs> Make sure your hair is wappy. <laughs> hey. It's like we do dates in the morning. And the funny thing, he started working on me. And he was like, you're the problem. You're not ready for marriage. And so he took me and he told me I'd started preaching. He told me don't preach in a place, a room that has men until you understand the order of God and who men are in a society. He worked on me. Hey, I had to call many men in my life, my father, other men, apologizing for things that society have taught us it is the, how they should be done. Mm. When you go for bridal showers, people tell you, uh, when, you're, when your man tells you something, at a nyumba, just say yes. But at the back of your head, you know, you'll do your own yes, thing. Yes. And God told me, you practice that a lot, a lot of manipulation. And you think it is wisdom and you're clever. He was like, apologize to all, I had my bosses, all the men I had worked with. I was on the phone, I wanted, and you know, they're telling me, I, I, I don't understand, you've been the best, but what are you talking about? I said, let me just do it because God has said I would have been better. And in this one, two area, what I did was wrong. And I'm sorry. Even my dad told me, you, you are such a good daughter. You have nothing to apologize. And so God started teaching me that he built the world with an order. It is God, then the man, and after that. And the man actually created with God. He's a co-creator, a man. A ma when a man speaks, things can happen. Things can move. There's an authority he has given men that is different, not better, it is different from what he has given the woman. Wow. And he taught me about yes. the man, the importance, the protection that men uh, even give us. Um, 
And after that, I asked God, he spoke about them, spoke about them. I was like, okay, God, are you saying me being a woman was just an afterthought? I feel useless. I really felt useless about the great and high things God said about the men. And I'm like, God, all things in magazines you read how to please a man everything is man 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 man, 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 man. how to make a man yes, love you yes, better yes yes and for me if you look at my career i always sit in desks and meetings where most of the times i'm the only woman and you pay a price you're really made to feel like you're a Yes, you're yeah, just yeah. there. Uh, it takes a man to really uplift you, to be able now for even other men mm. to listen to you, even mm. when your work can speak for you. So I asked God, Kweni, a woman is a mistake. He said, no, now that you've understood uh, there is an order and you've understood the role of a man uh, and you've apologized and you, you will notice that you are now healing. I said, yes, God, I'm healing. He said, great. Now I want to teach you about the woman and taught me a woman. I created the woman to help the man, uh, to help her husband. I've not been called to help every man, mm -hmm. but yes, my husband. Mm -hmm. uh, and God said there is a competition that is coming between the two. But what people need to understand, a man carries a certain dimension of God a different dimension, a woman, a different dimension of God. When a man and a woman come together, a full dimension of God okay. is seen through them, mm. through their partnership. Mm. And that's why Satan wants to make sure there is a war between men and women. It would and try and make it look like it is okay for a partnership between man and man, woman and woman. And there are certain places in my life I know I will never reach without a man, an authority over my life. Uh, even I see it now, I need a husband. I'm not marrying uh, I will marry one day, not because of romantic ideas only. Mm. Uh, you know, we fall in love, he's sending he's me roses. Tall yes, dark. tall and dark. I still want tall and dark. Yes. But Hali Uko, make sure you are tall and dark. Please. With a, with a beard or not? <laughs> a, a beard is also good, but make sure you it's take neat. good care of it. Where, where and you smell good. Muga. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so that so for me it will be because our uh my my call my purpose is aligned to his mm -hmm. i will help him get to where he's meant to and he will also uh help me a woman brings life one of the things god taught me he said you don't see how powerful you are he reminded me do you remember when you watched your sister give birth i said yes i was running in and out of the room i had never experienced a life and death moment like that and he said do you saw your what, what, your sister looking like she was going to die she still came back and he told me in the spiritual realm only a woman and God can transact, can come in and get out and still continue with life and bring forth life. Women are powerful. And that's why, and later I read in, I went back to, when God gives me a word, I go back to scripture. Mm -hmm. And there's a place where Adam says, this is Eve, the mother of all living things. Women are so powerful. If the women in Kenya begin to speak and say, our men are great. You are the mother of all living things if you can go to the soil and begin and I practice it I one day I'll take you to my father's farm I just picked the soil I said this soil is going to be fertile I'm the mother of all living things if I speak to soil the word I speak must come to pass and always our land is green it's in Ukambani it is always green mm -hmm. I understand my purpose I understand and I will not if I can make land green mm -hmm. will I, am I going to begin to compete with a man I know my call hey. that the land will be green it will be productive I know my role so I don't need to compete with other mm -hmm. people men or even women mm -hmm. I know what God has called mm -hmm. me for women have such a powerful call and I say even when we see uh, that and I've been hurt so badly uh, by by men even mm -hmm. sexually 
And I realized it's something that Satan does, especially to us young women. And when he can see the call on your life, a lot of girls will tell you how they were sexually molested when they were young. And for me, it is something that I forgot. I think it was a way my mind protected me. And as I was rebuilding with God, one day he told me, a bad memory is coming. And I want you to know that I love you. And I'm doing this to teach you. Mm -hmm. So one day as I am making my bed, I'm making my bed, I feel a sharp pain on my back and I fall and I scream. I ask God why? Because I had remembered a memory of a man molesting me when I was a young child. It is the most painful thing. Even now I have forgiven him. I love him. He has never asked me for an apology but I forgive him and I ask God, why would you bring back this thing when I am doing so well? Why did I have to remember? I was okay forgetting. Uh -huh. And molesting is the worst thing you can go through because I was so young, I was helpless. This was somebody who was meant to protect me. They took advantage of my innocence and you're watching someone do something and there is nothing you can do about it. You freeze in that moment and unfortunately the small Musenya in me froze until that day on my bed I fell because I realized all my decisions from that day, as much as the memory was forgotten. Uh, there are things in me, it ne I, the ne things in me just changed and I just started having this hate for men. Mm. Uh, and I used to be like, I used to tell my mother, I mean, I'm not going to marry. For what? What do I need a man for? Because even the first time I, I reported that matter, the person, a woman told me it is a lie not to ever repeat that thing and they went and told that person. Mm. So I had to keep quiet. Yes. And after that, uh, I just, I forgot, but doors in my life were opened. And that's the thing. Satan wants to molest us when we are so young and to be, begin to open sinful doors in our life. I carried great bitterness all my life. I wanted to prove men wrong. I, where I couldn't fight for myself, every man was going to pay for that day. And so many people paid, whether I realized it or not. And the disrespect for men, my life was to prove what a man can do, a woman can do better. I was so hurt. And I've been due, I have forgotten why. My mind has protected me until that day. And I asked God, how can you do that to me? And he said, healed people, heal people. Hurt people, hurt people. You've been hurting people so much uh, because of this. And it used to just come up by day once in a while. There's a way shame and I, shame is not a thing of God. It is, a, it is something that comes from Satan. We see it the first time when Eve sinned and it teaches you how to cover things and every day it's a poison. It comes out little, 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 a little. A of mind say, yes. shame thrives in secrecy. Yes, I, yes, yes, that's true. It loves, and it's a problem we have in Africa. We like hiding things. Even when me and you have a fight, I will be afraid to come and say, can we discuss this thing? You did this and this. Yes, I didn't, I didn't like, like it. Yeah, and we are taught that just let it be. No, come and say, by the way, here I was hurt. And, some, and it brings out even a better friendship, and that poison oh, dies. Yeah, it dies yes. there and then when you confront it. And so God told me, you are going to have to learn how to forgive this person, whether they ask you for forgiveness. And, he, and, that, and that's the thing I tell people, know the children you have. What that person didn't know, uh, I was a prophet. And you know, there is no small prophet and big prophet. Once you are called a prophet, even when your child is one year old, they are still a prophet. It's an office you carry. And so God told me, for hitting my prophet, this person, man, will never prosper in their life until the day they apologize to you. Know the children you have because know the offices they carry. That office fights back mm -hmm. when that child cannot. Mm -hmm. And when I understood, I was like, somebody was fighting for me. My office fought for me because I can see, yes, he lives a very diff extremely difficult life. And I'm like, I forgive him. 
I show him love, no bitterness. I, forgiveness is still a journey. That incident is so painful. I don't think I will ever completely get over it. Yeah. Every time I talk about it, it is so painful. And I even look at people talk as much as I am born again. And I believe, yes, uh, being a lesbian is sinful. I understand where it comes from. There are times I used to ask God, why can't you just make me have feelings for women? I would rather be with a woman than this painful man. But it was coming from a door Satan opened in my life at a young age. So I learned how to forgive and I realized Satan was attacking me here because he saw the great things God has called me for, for the nations. And he wanted to make sure even if I walk as a prophet, I will walk disabled. Men who live with sexual sin will never, ever, ever get to the final point that God has called them for. They look successful. What they don't know, you're meant to be even 10 times more successful. But that sexual sin, sexual sin is serious than what people think. It is one way Satan finishes people. And I see it when I'm doing deliverance. I see this thing came from sexual sin. And I, I, I learned that now that I was healed, I'm able to, even when I see the worst, and sometimes even when I see that about a person, mm. I'll not tell them. In fact, I'll tell them, you're such a good man, a faithful husband. May God continue to be with mm. you. Then when I go home, I fast and pray for mm. that person. But if I was hurt, you would call it out. Right there. Yes. Then. Hey. 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 I would finish you. Now I'm asking, what is Cindy yeah. about to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. Yes. You, would, you, would, you would speak it out. Yes. But when you say mm. God, you've mm. mentioned God talked to me. God told me. Mm. How do you talk to God? Mm. How do you even know this is God talking yeah. to me? Yeah. How does God tell you let's have breakfast mm. how do you sit and have conversations and know yeah. this is him mm, mm, this mm. is god yes. this is us having yes. a conversation yes. yes it's it's very simple you know we were created in god's image mm. so we do a lot of things like god um recently i i i, I traveled and uh i bought in fact recently my dad traveled yes. and he he was in morocco and he brought me very nice argan oil um, and I looked at that gift, I was so touched. And that gift, because it was exactly what I needed, yes. that gift he bought it and uh, knowing what I need because we have a relationship. Mm. We talk uh, over the phone, we see each other, yeah. we meet. So I know his voice. So if, if he took a different number and called me and mm. said, hello, I'd be like, hi, dad. Da yes. He doesn't even need to say Introduce 50 himself. things. Yes. I'll be like, hi, dad, why are you using a different Line. number? If he if he's shopping somewhere, he knows what I would like, yeah. what I would not like. Same yeah. thing with him. When I'm traveling, I'll buy him. Recently, it was his birthday. Yes. We bought him gifts. We don't need to call him and say, do you like pink socks? Or black socks. Yeah. I know pink socks, no. Even if he loves me and he would just wear for the sake of, um, he'd maybe just do it in the house, yes. but not go out of yeah. the house. So we've, I know his voice because I have spent time with him. We talk. And in fact, sometimes knowing somebody's voice is when I see pink socks, I know he will not take it. There's a way you can know God and know God would never say that. Mm -hmm. And it's very important because in these last days, yeah. we are going to see many false prophets, mm -hmm. many false teachers, they are really coming up. Know the voice of God, know God for yourself. Yeah. I train people to know God and people like coming to prophets all the time. Give me our Adam. I ask them, what is the Holy Spirit saying? What is God saying? And I teach people how to hear God. You do, always don't have to hear a loud voice. One of the best ways to know God is the Bible. The Bible is the mind of God. Yeah. And once you know the Bible, when even you hear hear that voice speaking at the back of your mind, you will know that's God. But then nothing needs to tell you. And I've never gone to ask people, was that God talking to me? It aligns. That's why I said I go yes. back to scripture. Mm -hmm. He'll even give you a verse and say, go read. And you find it there. The Bible is his word. Yeah. Practice by reading the Bible. You will hear his voice. There are nice ways of just hearing God, yes. looking at birds, 
it begins to talk to you that you see when you look at a bird you see but God is is loving look at the way he created for me a bird with beautiful flowers a nice yellow blue and they match by the way the things of God are beautiful and perfect yes. you see those colors matching you know for us cambas we love uh, colors. colors so I'm like but maybe even God wants a camba yeah. like he mixes <laughs> yellow and blue eh? it's not I'm a master a, the a, I know eh? <laughs> And I see, I truly carry God eh? because look at the way we love colors. That's how. <laughs> I like the way yes. Muga is not <laughs> We should yes. have tea with Buga yeah, after yeah, this yeah, and after agree. This, yeah. So, yes. we, and, we, and we want to teach. Let me tell you one thing I hate about some people in the church. Yeah. They like making like prophecy look like it is such a big deal to hear the voice of God. It is just certain people called by God, Hallelujah. separated. Mm. They are special. Mm. And even when they walk, they need bodyguards, yes. big cars. Yes. Ooh, somebody say amen. 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 And when they make a mistake, how amen. dare you? Are you correct touch not the anointed <laughs> how dare you how d- ah, i cannot make a mistake what are you saying you tell somebody that is not in scripture hey do you know who i am do you know i have been seeing angels beautiful but bottom line where even god says he places his word even above himself so we begin by hearing wow. god by knowing the word of god let us teach people the truth scripture let us teach people what the scripture says. It is true, I hear God. It is true, I can speak over your life, Lynn, and you've seen those things come yes. to pass. But it comes from a place of knowing God. When God says, for example, when he gave me a word that he has given you the nations, I know it is true because in scripture it says that all we, the children of God, our inheritance is the nations. So I know that word that I'm giving Lynn is true. It is the will of God. I know Lynn is born again. I know the heart of Lynn. So this word is true. There must be backup in the scripture. And so I tell people, first learn the word. And then from there, spend time with God. Stay in the place of prayer. If there is one thing I love is prayer. I can do prayers eight hours, three days, just prayer, prayer, prayer. Until God is done, who tells me, says I talk up when I mix now. I prefer prayer than socializing. Yes. And so I've learned his voice that when he speaks, I know. God is saying, and it becomes, I'm always in his presence that it's like we just are walking like this yeah. together. Yeah. So when he speaks, immediately I hear. And, 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 and I, 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 I always tell people, every child of God, scripture says that my sheep, they know the voice of God. They hear the voice of God. Every child of God can be prophetic. Not everyone is called for the office mm. of a prophet, mm. but every child of God can be prophetic. And I tell people, don't marry if you cannot hear the voice of God. What are you doing? Don't you will end up marrying the wrong person. You by the time you are marrying someone, Lynn, by the time you 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 you're getting married, your man should be able to tell you, Lynn, the call over your life is one, two, three. Lynn, by the way, like you, you have such a gift for healing. Such a powerful gift. If you see somebody sick, just be laying hands. Pona right now in wow. the name of Jesus. Watapona. You know, your man should be able to tell you the things you have been called for and also see in his life, this is how I will also help Lynn get into the things God has called her. Mm. You should be also be able to know the children you have. I know the children I'm going to have, so I am preparing their life. People do things for the sake of doing, but you must know the purpose. What is my purpose as mm. Cynthia? Mm. Therefore, it means God will give me a man in I know my man has to be a king. I can't marry lower than a king. And I know people will think it means property, blah, 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 and everything. No, it is uh, where they are in the, in the spiritual things. And the beautiful thing when you're in those positions, God blesses you. Seek ye first the kingdom oh, of God, God and, and his righteousness God. and all other things yes. shall be added. There are things that just come naturally from walking with God. So I can only, as a prophet, I can only now marry a king so that he doesn't tear down my office and the things God has given me. And then 
I also know my children so that when I am raising them, I know their purpose. There are some things I know I will not be able to do to my children, They're especially my firstborn son. There are things, places I will never be able to take him because of the call of his life. And I'm ensuring the doors in his life that should not be yeah. opened. Sexual sin. Aki, when you do deliverance for people, it's so sad to see their great plans and other grown-ups in their life when they were kids opened doors that they should not have opened of alcohol of you take your child to go sit in a pub a door just begins to open your child begins to feel yeah. something for alcohol yes. you every day you're, let me tell you there is no way every day you can be entering a pub carry those spirits come home hug your child and not expect that your child will never enter mm -hmm. a pub they must you opened that door and imagine that is a prophet you're opening the doors of alcohol for them they will be prophesying and going home addicted to alcohol because some doors are legal doors parents really open they have the right to open doors mm -hmm. so they can open for you legal doors of god or legal doors of satan legal doors opened for satan are not easy to close and when you're doing for people now deliverance you see how they suffer i feel sad i wish people can know if you see in your life you have serious problems of sexual sin don't uh, be angry with yourself. Come for prayers. Come for deliverance. We'll tell you which door Satan opened. It is God does not want yeah. you to live that life. He loves you. If yeah. you see cycles of poverty, a door somewhere was, was opened. opened. You know, and, and I know sometimes people say work hard. Lynn, it is possible to work very hard and have nothing. I went through it. I was working the hardest. I can work. Me, I can work because especially of election mm -hmm. times. I can work three days without sleep. I know what it means. And I know when now my body says it's too much, I begin by having a kabak pain. Yes. I can work. And there's a time I did all that and earned nothing Came for four nothing. years. Oh, yes. Gosh. Until I shut some doors. And that's the thing. And... It, there is a place for hard work, but everything we see in the physical, a transaction happened in the spiritual. Mm. And people like pretending that spiritual life is not there. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It's we want fantasy. to be so sophisticated. Yes. You know, all you need to do is to work hard. Yes. All you need to do is to be uh, passionate about what you do. <laughs> Son, I've been telling Abel, Abel Mutua, even yesterday, I was Selling Jugush, Munipe acting roles. Lin Amesema, You're and good. Lin is the voice of this nation. Well, Abel, Akisema Amesema. We, we, we've said. Thank you. Yeah, I wanna watch Thank it. you. Yes. Thank you. No, All we need to do. Bring that blockbuster. Please, please, please. Thank you. Please. Please. Thank you. 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 Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So yeah. it's just, I wish people can know. And sometimes we fight battles that are not ours. ours. Even for me, when I was starting preaching and ministry, I still had so many battles, yes. serious battles that I think, and I love God. He's so loving. I think if some things were shown to people when I was starting my ministry, I, if people were shown some of the things I would do after, in fact, I remember one mm -hmm. after preaching two sermons in Uganda. A temptation was waiting for me at the gate. And you find that, yes, you fall. And in the midst of that, you go back and you ask God. He shows you this is the... This, you are dealing with just the symptoms. The root is this. Deal with this root. I dealt with the root. And there's a way God is so loving and you realize he doesn't want to, you to live this life. So he wants to help you fight your battles. Yes. So he helps you. I have people even in my ministry. I know. And they usually come and tell me, Mom, I know you know. I say, yes, I know. And they ask you, why do you still allow me to serve? And I have this issue. And I'm like, because it is not my work to work on you. 
It is not your work. All you need to do is to say yes to God. Repent and say, God, I have this issue. Work on it. I leave it to you. You will be amazed. Yes. And we are too quick to judge people. Even when you see a man of God uh, who has, and it is one thing I've been praying for several churches. I go and I see men and women of God, the things in their life, is, they are shocking. I'm like, oh my God. And I had that problem for a long time. I used to ask God, how is this man still serving? Yeah. And last night I can see where he was. Yes. Literally, you see, and you're like, where do you have the guts to preach after doing that? Oh, yes. And then God reminds me, where are you happy? Ukiingia ministry, ulikuwa perfect. And then God tells me, but there is a problem in the church. The, 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 the people in the church are these days treating the men and women of God so badly. We give them, people like saying followers. I have church wounds. By the way, the people who have biggest church wounds are the pastors and the men of God that members give them. And you begin to open doors and you don't support them. You don't pray for them. One small mistake we want to put on Twitter. Talk out, yes, we are crucifying. We are expecting them to be Jesus. Mm. They are also on a journey. But I, I have to say their judgment will be different. I have to live a life that is, there are things normal people can do that I cannot do. It is not really a sin, but God is like, I have uh, separated you for myself. You must live a consecrated life. This you cannot do. Yes. For example, one of the things which is not bad, but God was like, no more swimming in public pools and standing there and posting photos of, and he was like, no. Um, there are things you will have to stop doing. It is not wrong. I go for parties by yes. a pool. Yes. People are in their swimming costumes. Yeah. They are enjoying. Yeah. I wish I could, but the, my life is a life of sacrifice to serve my God and to serve uh, people. Yes. And so I know there is a higher calling for the men and women of God. There is a higher standard yeah. expected of us. We must live by it. But when we see people falling, you don't have to. And people ask, how can you grow in the prophetic? Learn how to keep secrets, see the things of men. You don't have to see. You don't, if God has not told it, it's God's secret. Use it how he wants it to be used. Well. Yeah, in fact, bless that man of God. Yeah. And sometimes when people see, like when I go to a church, the people around who know the problems, they usually come and tell me, Cynthia, I know you know. Cynthia, I know you so. You've seen that thing about my pastor. I can never discuss with you. Are you God? My work is God was showing me to pray. And I tell them, you know, you are part of that problem. You see the way you are talking to me? You are part of it. And when God is judging, you will be wow. in that judgment. Wow. Why didn't you see that problem mm -hmm. coming for your pastor? Mm -hmm. Why didn't you block it? Why didn't you pray for him? Why didn't you fast for him when he fell? Why didn't you cover him? Scripture tells us that love, it covers a multitude of sin. Yes. Why didn't you practice the Bible on that man of God, that wow. woman of God? Oh God, oh God. Mm. You, see, you are so aware. Mm. You are self-aware. Jeez, I said you are an entire Wikipedia. You know? Rebuilding. No, I, I know, right? <laughs> yes. uh, you know you are you are so spiritual. And mm. I love that for mm. me, you are spiritual, mm. not religious. Yes. You are very spiritual yes. mm. and intentional mm. about your journey. Yes. You are this great media personality. Yes. You are a PR guru. Mm. You sit with and Africa right now has a bit of love bitter relationship yes. with its government, yes. right? Yes. You're like, yeah. okay, I want to pray for this leader, but yeah. I yeah. uh, <laughs> This person, nah. Yes. This government, yes. nah. The yes. way these people are moving, never, they ain't moving, ever. right? Yes. No, never. How do you bring those two together? And by the way, it's one question people always ask Every me, other like time? I do campaigns, I'm like, how are you born again yes. and you're in politics? How do you speak well of politicians? Yes. It is important in life to understand understand your purpose, understand everybody has a purpose, and allow them to walk in their purpose, allow people to walk in their journey. Understand yours. People, again, fight the wrong enemy. And let me give an example. Yes. 
Uh, and I know people will say you're being political. See it how you want to be, mm. how you want it. I will always participate in the politics of, of Kenya and any nation God calls me for. Mm. It is part of, I cannot be sitting back and watching politics in Kenya yes. and keep quiet. It's my country. Uh, my children will grow up here. I mm. can't. I have to speak. Mm -hmm. And it is also my call. If there is an area in the prophetic I see clearly, it is in government. And I'm more of a government yeah. prophet than any other uh, area. Mm. And I realized I could not escape. Even when I didn't realize I was a prophet, I noticed all the campaigns, presidential campaigns mm -hmm. I've worked in, we never lost. Uh, in Nigeria, uh, people said we can't remove a sitting president. I was so sure, and I used to say, it's my instincts. Yes. Something tells me, and when I pray, I'm sick. But I had not realized I'm a prophet called for the nations. And that's the thing. Know your purpose so that you don't walk blindly. And also so that you're not misused. Some people who saw what I was carrying really misused me. Uh, but it's a learning lesson. And, and, and I, I always could see who is going to be the leader. I could see people and tell them 10 years from now, you will be the next president. I can easily tell. I have a, a, an idea who, who is going to be the next president after our uh, mm. president, president uh, Ruto. <laughs> Through prayers, lakini it's easy and beyond as vita. Sometimes when you share a prophetic word too early, mtuaneza malizwa. Yeah, people want prophetic word, but I tell people contend for, once you receive a prophetic word, contend. Because even Satan has had it, he'll come and fight it and make sure it does not come to yes. pass. That's the mistake people make when you give them, a, even sometimes I see a word for someone, I'm excited! But the Holy Spirit tells me, don't tell them, they will not contend, they will relax and that word shall not come to pass. Hey, yes. Now I feel like I need to keep going so, and if I relax, <laughs> it's not. Stay in the place of prayer. When you receive a word yeah. and tell God, you said this, now show me what to uh -huh, do. Uh -huh. So back now to politics. Uh, and, and so I realized, even when now God was uh, reteaching me, uh, that actually that was my call and I can't run away. It doesn't make sense for many people how I can work for governments uh, in different countries. By the way, it doesn't what make sense. What role do you play I in the government? PR. So PR, yeah. I handle uh, uh, communications, mm. coming up with communication strategies. Yes. A lot of times, especially in, in government, Nikuzima, Mamoto, yes. uh, but also, you know, bring other collaborators, partners, and, but for me, it is usually to serve. Mm. Uh, I think why God blesses me is because my heart is usually to serve the people. Mm. I feel like it's an office where I have the influence yeah. to quickly bring uh, I don't have to go through so yes. much tape, mm -hmm. red tape and all that I can quickly bring the resources I, I'm very good at knowing even without money mm -hmm. I can build for you a building. Mm -hmm. Right now we are building at Jamhuri Prison it's costing around $30,000. Wow. Even without that money in my account, me I know how to bring resources, Together. bring people and I do it. Mm -hmm. So in government I'm able to do it times 10 because of the authority government yes. gives you. Yeah. Uh, and so I, 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 during that time I realized I will never run away from government. I try. In fact, when I came back from Uganda and people always used to tell me, because now in Uganda you also worked in security. I worked with the Uganda police. Yes. I was under the office of the IG, they yeah. call them IGP, yes. Kenya, it's IG. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was exposed to so much and so, so much. They were like, I don't think another government would ever take you, you are in security. Mm. But governments still take me. I still work in a government institution in yes. Kenya. Uh, and it's because it's God who has called me. He just yeah. opens doors. In fact, when I was called for the job, I was like, are you sure? Do you know where I have I like, please, we all know. Uh, but then after that, the interesting thing um, is that in 2015, 
uh, God gave me a word and he was like, the next president of Kenya will be uh, President Ruto, begin to pray. Uh, and, and then later, 20, I think it was 2018, mm -hmm. and I could see a battle was coming. I had seen there will something will make them really fight and God was saying that uh, one side will have all the chariots, uh, but this man will come through God. And I'm not saying it to try and make people want to side with him, be wherever you want. But I really want people to understand how the prophetic works. I know people despise it, despise it because people have manipulated that gift. Uh, people have hurt people. They've used it. Yes, but a nation can never uh, look at Israel leaving Egypt. Uh, and getting their freedom. Their transitions, are nev a nation can never go through mm. without the prophetic. Mm. And so God started speaking. And God, a prophetic word must have, God will give you the problem, the reason why, and then his, his solution and why he is giving that solution mm -hmm. and he will give you the strategy. Mm -hmm. That's why when you see someone give a prophecy and say, I see your house is green and the gate is black and they drop the mic, false prophet. Yeah. That is a false prophet. I see. <laughs> yes. You, they just want to show people, I can see. I, I can see. I see. To and they drop the, the mic and they walk. <laughs> to First of assistance. all, you are behaving like that word. You are the one who came up with it. And even people who keep on telling <laughs> prophets, prophesy prophet, it is not the prophet, it is God speaking. Yes. And when God speaks, he's a king of kings. He doesn't speak useless things. We have really made God look so bad. He doesn't speak useless things. When I'm giving you a word, one of the ways I know when I'm speaking, it's God. I see people always crying. People come and say, give me a hug. Yes. They have gone through healing mm. and they Sorry, have alarm. seen. Sorry. Okay, mami unana ni meguzo hapo na lim. Hey, can you people see? Hey, lim has made my hair. Hey, hey, I ita guzo na mti tera. Hey, 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 I'll tell my hairdresser. You know my mom will really watch this one. Everything he moves with purpose everything and that's why our life is about purpose yeah. and so he gave me a word and he said this and I shared it people were so angry and mm. I said listen God has said it is uh, that time he was the DP it is Ruto for one two three reasons and these are the some of the reasons yeah. he is there uh, because God is bringing order back and uh, there are certain things that he understands must be done in this nation because this nation is meant to make way for the revival. It needs somebody who understands. By the way, the things of God are about him. So it is about God. Mm. Uh, this nation, our economy is going to recover, I assure you it will recover. And that man has a plan. God calls him David. I had, a, when first God told me it is him, I had questions for God. I was like, but God, kuna hi, kuna hi. God told me, eh, na wewe hule ni mekupe your message when you go perfect. He told me, go read about David. David was a murderer. By the way, God had to first deal with me. David was a murderer. David, and he was my friend. And I chose him for my purpose. And so I give the reasons and he's a president who is going to bring Africa together. There is an overturn happening in Africa where Africans will sit at the table. Africa will be, intertrade is going to increase and we are going to learn how to lean on each other. We are going to take down uh, these colonial barriers that were brought uh, where we are told you are Kenya, you are different, you are Uganda, in fact you can fight each other. We are all the same. We are, we are one Africa. We are stronger mm -hmm. when we are together. Yeah. Our system yes. was brought to light to us that we are different. Traveling to South Africa can be a headache, but it is because they understood we are stronger together. Those boundaries are coming down. We have a president who God is going to use, and you have seen he's been going to African nations. They are saying yes to him. We are seeing boundaries going uh, uh, down, even of trading barriers. One of the things that we need to do and the prophetic is not there to make people feel good it is uh, rig is called Issachar's 
uh, restoration of Issachar's generation. Mm. The Issachar's knew the times and what to do with it. The prophetic is to help us know the times and what to do with those mm. times. Right now, if and that's why I keep on pushing you, Lynn. Right now, it is time for doing business beyond Kenya. We need to think bigger. We are children of God. We are kings. Kings don't do estate kiosks. You do bigger. And I really feel it for our boy child in yeah. Kenya. I wish they would be taught they are kings. Kings have kingly dreams. That's why I, d I read the Bible. I want to think at the same capacity with God so that when I go to ask him for things, we can have a conversation. It is a king and a king mm -hmm. speaking. Mm -hmm. We pray amiss because we go to as a servant speaking to a king. He doesn't understand some of the things we tell him. Mm -hmm. You are there crying day and night. You've been born again for 25 years and you're crying every day for rent. You're, there is a mistake somewhere. Because by the time you've been born again all those years, your mind is elevated. You've gone through a transformation according to scripture and you're now thinking as a king. We see people in churches having small battles, a big pastor fighting with a young man who is just coming up. Instead of the pastor thinking, we need, we need look at this young talent I have. I should now be building 70 churches. Unafaitia tu wako ka church kwa estate. But we are not thinking as kings. We are just mediocre slaves. Even in the kingdom of God, people still want to think like slaves. We don't understand this is our inheritance. Lynn, the nations are where your, is your inheritance. You should be going to nations, Italy, and not just where people can speak Kiswahili. Go everywhere. Amina. And you'll not just be speaking only to the Kenyans living there. Yes. Different Africans, talk to them. They have stories they can share. They can bring Bring healing to people. You have been called for that. A network that even you can begin as you're interviewing someone in Tanzania. You'll see this one by the has talent. We can open lean network Tanzania. Amen. Amen. Because you can do well in Uganda. We need to see lean Let's network in Uganda. in Uganda. And me, I'm here to help you. Oh, thank mm. you. I appreciate mm. that. I'm here to help you. Oh, man. Mm. Do you cave to societal society expectations? No. They didn't call me. Aish. They didn't call. You don't give me oxygen. My life is miraculous. Only God. When I was in Uganda, only yeah. God yeah. could remove me when all our bosses were arrested. That situation, nobody could have removed me alive out of that situation other than God. So when people talk to me, say wherever. Me, I've seen life and death like this. I've seen real life and death situations. God, some things I can never discuss until the, even the day I die, I'll die with those secrets. Only God removed me. There is nothing a man can do to shake me. You are not there with me. You didn't call me. You didn't give me life. I don't, I, the only person I owe my life is God. I live for him. I do everything for him. I breathe for him. I love for him. Everything in my life, even to love my enemies, I do it because God has said it. Yeah. To show people kindness. By the way, for me to preach, mix with people. I'm an introvert. I don't enjoy it as much. I do it for God. Even on this show, I'm using this great platform of yours for God, for people to see God for who he is, yes. for people to come back to God and live the life they have been called for. When God was creating, everything he created was perfect. It was good. Everybody's life should be the same. And my work every day is that. So say whatever. When I shared about our uh, president. People were so angry. There are men and women of God who don't talk to me until today. They were saying, no, God has not said that and he will not win the election. You're going to see. They fought me. I still love them. I said, thank you. If I am wrong, please. And that's the thing about do it genuinely for God yes. because I don't see it as a personal fight. Me, I see I've been sent by God. And I told them, to be honest, I want to serve God. If this word does not come to pass and you find I am a false prophet, it, I will come and ask for forgiveness because you are older than me, yes. you, ha you understand more and I'll come and learn mm -hmm. from you because I also don't want people to leave God yes. because of the things I have done. I was going to repent on 
uh, Instagram and I told people, because what I want is people to follow God. Yeah. It's not about me. So yeah. for me, I live for God. Come attack me, say whatever. Also, the other thing, mm -hmm. God fights for me. You cannot come for me and God does not fight back on my behalf. But I will show you love it's because I want to be like yeah. God, yeah. because I'm doing these things for God. So the only person, and you know, we were praying for the nation for a hundred days. But I was like, God, even guys in Gava, some of them would talk to me so badly, just take away things from me. But I was like, I'm very sorry. I was not planning to hurt you. It's just a word of God. And if it is wrong, I'll come back and apologize. Uh -huh. Most of them have never come back to apologize because what they told me, they realized it is wrong, but I forgive them. I love them. I still hug them. And I pray through yes. what they took me through. Yeah. They will see God is love mm. and they give their life to Christ. To Christ. Yes. And they give it to yes. Christ. Yes. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's good that you, you, you spoke about Uganda, mm. what happened mm. to you in Uganda. Because mm. I also noticed you faced a lot of rejection. Yes. And this is the, yeah. when someone... Mm. When something, you know, I, I, I always say, but now it doesn't scare me. Yeah. The greatest, I, I think one of the days I'll cry is the day I wake up and I'm trending in this yeah. country. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. one day someone really wanted to release a song. Yes. And they started a beef with me. Okay? Yeah. And then they knew they were lying. Yeah. And for some reason, yes. I'm not a keeper of charts. Like yeah. Like it, yeah. But for some reason, I had those charts. Yeah. And you are doing all this with yes. my name so that mm. tomorrow, the day you after, get you bigger. can release exactly. a song. Yeah. And I remember... Uh, a lot of people came through because yeah. we were like Lin Lin no Lin mm. can stop Lin Wood. Yeah. But there's one thing mm. I saw mm. that affected my spirit from that yeah. day. And someone commented and said, Nilijua tu, mm. anonanga endio mother Teresa. Thank you. You you, mm. you get what I'm saying? Yes. yes. I saw the love yes. my fans came yes. with. They went, these yes. people went to war yeah. for me. You yeah. know? But I've always said I'm not perfect. And one yeah. day mm. I will trend and I'll be like, ah, <laughs> and then it's on Fikisha channel, one million subscribers. <laughs> and then in one of videos, and yet I'm doing honor from that platform. Because I know I'm not perfect, yeah, you know. Yeah. I am not. Otherwise, yeah. I would be God. Yes. I am not perfect. Yeah. But I also noticed in Uganda, mm. you faced a lot. Yes. Were there moments when you looked back and you were like, mm. I thought we were friends. I know. I thought you were with in yes, my corner. Yeah. So this is what you've been waiting yeah, for. Yeah, exactly. Did people walk away? Or, uh, yes. Or I, I, I like. Oh, sorry, yes. I like what you said because I'm really. Sometimes you forget things, and as someone is talking, you yeah. remember. Yeah. I remember the. Fa I remember one day walking. So when my boss was fired, people were fired, yes. but I was asked to stay. Mm. Uh, in fact, I knew, I was talking to a former colleague of mine today, and I was telling them, you know, that Sunday, he was fired on a Sunday. That Sunday, I received a call from State House, and I was told, uh, make sure your phone is not busy, don't leave town, and I was asked some questions, so I knew what was about mm. to happen. And there had been signs for a few months, so I knew what was coming. Uh, but again, this is a boss that I loved, yes. uh, was a general. It's very hard to work with a general as a civilian. I had to go through a lot of training. He was so loving. Uh, sometimes generals and guys of army feel so cold. Mm. He tried his best to teach me and I understood. Now I understand yes. why. I am a general of God. I needed to learn some disciplines. Mm. It was so painful and so his firing alone uh, was cut me so badly because I had seen and I always see the good side of people. I knew his weaknesses, but he's human. Mm. Everyone has. Mm. But they over his good side overrided and he yes. loved his country. Yes. The way it was done, the lies. Uh, and for me, it's always shocking to see a grown up lie. Mm. Um, and even to lie to the head of state uh, and the, all the people in my office, there were also lies. Some about some people mm. were true. Yeah. Uh, and that, of course, was ex exaggerated. Mm. But to see your colleagues, the people you love, being fired, torn apart so badly. But then I was told, continue to report to work. Yes. So I continued. But as when I entered the office, some people were comforting me. Others were like, 
and what are you doing here? Others would call to ask me because people were being arrested at night. I even used to sleep with my clothes on. Nisi arrestiwe, nikikai madogo nyanya. Because yo picture ilikuwe na nika kwa gazeti front page, umearestiwa. So me, I had... Uh, I used to prepare, I'd sleep with my clothes on and have something warm next to me wow. at night. Uh, I, w I worked in, in police so I knew how the mm. prisons looked like. Mm. Uh, so I knew uh, I'm ready and people would ask me, you've still not been arrested? And when I'd hear a siren pass my house, I'd be like, oh, the day has come. This is me. It was very, very difficult and there are people who it's like they were waiting to mock me and even in the office people who felt and you know the one thing people used to find it difficult with even other countries when we would have meetings is how is a Kenyan working in the Ugandan security and in the highest yes. office uh, and you know even because in, in, in how military and police works, everything is ranks. Mm. So when we sit, even my country would have like um, Afripol meetings. So all the heads of police come with their people. So you sit, so me, I'd sit with my boss, you sit according to ranks. So they're like, how is she seated yeah. on the first row? And people would be angry. She's an outsider in Uganda, how? Even sometimes Ugandans would be so angry. Uh, but my heart was to serve people. Remember, I was not being paid. Sometimes people would fight me and make sure my I had a police car was didn't have fuel. I would put my fuel and go help people. Uh, I do, I used a lot of my money. Even the office we used to sit in, I bought a lot of the furniture with my own money and made sure things started working. Some people ate our money for that office. I went and I used my own money. I wanted to serve the people. And a majority of the people in Uganda, I love them. They mm -hmm. stood with me. Mm -hmm. uh, even in the office, a lot of people. But others had hit. I had never seen. The next day in the office, their eyes, how they looked at me changed. Uh, later on, even my security, uh, most of it was withdrawn. Mm -hmm. uh, my car was withdrawn. People just treating yes. you badly to yeah. show you you are nothing. One day I, woke, I wake up. I go to the supermarket and I see a, a newspaper. I'm like, hey, this chick looks like me. When I look at it, I'm like, oh, yeah, it is me. I'm on the headline of some gutter press. And the stories, they said I was a DJ. Before I left Kenya, I used to be a DJ. I was like, wow, I didn't know that. Like yeah. Uh, and people, other journalists who were my friends, most of them refused to write stories about me. Uh, but others who were my friends, like one took a bribe of, a, of just a few dollars wrote things that were lies um how you are homeless how i was in Uganda. how i was no now do you know mm. i was homeless but in the papers they were writing how i live in a home i think worth two thousand dollars i eat up the police budget yet the in fact the person who wrote that story knew i was not being paid knew that i i by that stage i was now homeless because i refused to pay bribes that's mm. why i tell people don't be believing what everyone uh writes some people were just fighting me because because they knew there is a report I had written mm. of the things and some people in government were afraid mm. of the things that uh, used to go on. Mm. And people used to know if you want a service from police or government, because that office really opened doors for other government mm. doors, go see Cynthia, you will not be asked a mm. bribe. So that alone made people hate me. The fact that if you report a corruption to me I would report it immediately and I would have I could take it to my boss the IGP yes. made now people pay rep now it was payback time write and say this write and say this Shame so up. I found people Kumbe then they're laughing with you in their hearts they hate you and you the next day when they look at you you can feel all that hate and when you go home it wasn't so much the fear of the arrest, it was how some of the mm. people looked at you and the comments that made you so aware of how much they hate you to the point of death. So for me, I felt my life was in danger because of more of what those people who were waiting for my fall I could see wanted to do, uh, more than even mm. uh, the, mm. the arrests that the were, were going it. on. Mm. But it taught me, a man called Jehovah Sabaoth, 
that God is loving, but God can fight your battles and finish. When God is fighting, he finishes. I can give it to halfway. I really saw him fight for me, mm -hmm. and that's why I am so loyal to God. Mm -hmm. But I all, and it really affected me even when I started ministry at the, because of yes. going through trauma. It's very traumatic, by the way. And we look strong from outside, but every time you sit with people, you know, among them, one day one of them will look at me at that hit I saw that day and want to finish me. They laugh with me, but on a day, even I know in my ministry, there are people who are there, they want to benefit. But on the day, a story about Cynthia comes, uh, comes up. Up, they will be the first to say, I knew it. I suspected. I, I saw the it. signs. I was just, eh? <laughs> eh? They, they, I knew it. <laughs> and, and, and I used to tell people, I shock. <laughs> so I know, but I have decided that person is not my enemy. It is Satan. It is Satan. Even at the table, God, Jesus gave Judas so mm. many chances. Mm. And he knew it is not Judas. Mm. He loved Judas. Mm. Even in my ministry, I see people who I know. One day, and the Holy Spirit tells me, one day this person will hurt you badly. But pass the test and show them love. And they do it. And they do yeah. it. But since you've been here, mm. you've seen it all. Yeah. For, and it's, it's, it's now an age for creatives. Mm. People like us, you, yes. know, you, you have a show, you want to continue living your purpose. Mm. For someone who has gone through this journey, mm. what are some of the three key things mm -hmm. that you would tell every creative or mm. any media person Mm, out there. Mm, mm. This I'm even asking for myself. So I uh, have, a, have, I would say for 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 people looking to venture or mm. those like already like you know your purpose. In those painful days, it is your purpose that will keep you going. When somebody even is coming for an interview, you can tell this is not within my purpose. Good. Goodbye. And I know, uh, as God is showing me right now, there are many things you have said no to. People who have told you, actually, Lynn, this will make more money for you. Do it, and you've told them no politely I decline and God will honor you for that and open more doors wow. for you. So number one, understand your purpose. When people bring offense, you'll walk away. When people try to hurt you, you'll walk away. When big dreams come that look too big, you can't handle. If you see it is aligned to your purpose, you will comfortably be able to say yes, even though you are a bit afraid mm. because it is aligned to your purpose. There are bigger things mm -hmm. than just being on TV. Yeah, yeah. The second thing is keep on going. Keep on going no matter what. There are tough days, there are good days, and there are bad days. Mm -hmm. Keep on going. Yeah. After the good days, don't stop. In fact, now do more. And the third thing I will say is that as you're experiencing all these things, uh, God is giving you uh, train others bring up others to ensure that your legacy will continue yeah. even when uh, you leave. But this space, I encourage more young people to enter. Mm. Uh, this is the future. This is the, this future. Is the future. Yes. yes. Let's touch on. Thank you. Thank you so much mm. for that. Mm. Uh, very much needed. Mm. And let, let's talk about Africa because yes. you mentioned even your kids will not go to these yes. schools. Yes. You have a special... Mm. What is wrong mm -hmm. with Africa, not like what is wrong, mm -hmm. but what do we need to let go of, yes. and what what are your observations mm. about our education system? That's the one. Education system is somewhere that, in fact, Kenya is going to be the example mm. for the rest of Africa, how the education system should look like. I hope when those changes come, people will not resist. Uh, but again, I, again, I come back to purpose. Um, look at the schools that we have. Are they meant for our African children? Or are they meant to take away our culture? Ask a child, make it a little, George Bush, oh, is the president 
of former president of USY who discovered Mount Kenya. Uh, thank Some you. guy from my daughter. Uh, thank you. Uh, and that's the thing there. I tell people. How can you tell me where I live? Somebody discovered me. Yes. Children are very wise. Yes. And 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 but in that process, I was taken through a training that made me erase those questions and begin to accept another world mm. that is not real. Mm. By the by the time a child is living from four, they live in another world that is not real. And then we begin to tell them when they mature and they have our parents, leave the real world. How? From nursery, you taught him Cinderella, Disney world. And then you come and tell an adult, leave the real world. Which real world? They've never seen the real world through you. They've never seen the real world through their education. Which real world now do you want them to begin to live? How? How? In fact, you even, we don't even teach our children things that can work for us. Even the Af there are some foods that are good for the African body. There are some things that are good for the... I've been doing this. At the time God yes. told me cut my hair. I've been doing a lot of research on oh. the things as African women we've been putting on our... Yeah. On, and I'm struggling with my hair. It is so your, tough, your, your yes. Hair is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. But I'm like, I need something that can work for my African hair. And I need... And I remember one time I went to a studio and somebody looked at me with my natural hair. They're like, I'm going to read news like that. I said, like what? <laughs> Are my clothes torn with your hair? I asked them, do you have a problem with the hair God gave you? Which other hair should I have? Oh, I'm sorry, that's when it hit them. Yes. We need to ask ourselves these questions. As you read a storybook for your child, ask yourself, what am I teaching my child? I'm teaching my child good names are Helen and the Western names. I'm teaching, give, I saw an experiment, a child given two dolls, a black doll and a white doll, a black child. The black child was asked, which doll is beautiful? Picked the white doll. And was asked, which doll is ugly? Picked the black doll. That child was essentially saying, I am ugly. It is the white person. And you know, we need to have these conversations. And sometimes you have the conversations, people tell you you're racial. I'm not. I am speaking about a system that I was, be, I was forced to go through and now I'm saying no more. And even better, I have Bible to back me. And I'm saying, I'm, I want to take people through education. I'm really teaching on systems and how to approach these uh. systems and put in godly systems. Godly systems work. In a nation where there are godly systems, like we need to have in Africa, you will begin to see poverty going down. You will begin to see human beings who are productive. Yes. Yes. You will begin to see marriages working. You will begin to see strong churches. And a lot of these programs should be coming from the churches. Yeah. Churches need to begin to build more schools. Yes. Churches need to begin to build more hospitals. The spheres of influence, churches need to begin to take over. We need to rebuild in Africa. Mm -hmm. Churches need to tell people the truth that without godly systems, you can go to Stanford and all these universities they tell you are the best but you will never see the poverty cycle break mm. in your family. Yeah. There are some things deeply rooted in us that are wrong. Do you think it is normal that me who is an African, I have to pay thousands? The other day I, I went to Lagos. I'm in Africa. I'm an African. To go to my home in Lagos, Africa is my home. To go to my home in Lagos, I, my ticket was close to 400,000. Is that normal? And I'm going to my home. I had a problem getting a visa. I'm going to my home. I'm an African. Every area of Africa is my home. Why do we fight people? I see people fighting each other that a foreigner got that job. You say, hey, I'm a Toka West Wapi. No, it's, it's Tanzanian. I'm like, isn't that your African brother? How dare you say a, 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 an outsider got a job? If a Tanzanian gets a job in Kenya, I only think it is wrong because the white man put a border and told me there is a, a problem. Border, a yes, border. and began to tell me you are different. Yes. yes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So our systems, I wish all our books can begin to change and say there was a great uh, Kenyan who was living in Lagos and begin to show people we are all one Africa that dream big. You can go to school in, in, in Morocco and yes. land there. Mm. You can go to school. It is mm. all yours. You can move everything 
everything and go live uh, in uh, South Africa yes. and, and where God home. has called you go there home. yeah and be home and love people the same way mm. you can start a business and employ people from different nations I have a ministry yesterday we were we are starting a business round table it's so interesting that a majority of the half of the people are non-Kenyans some who live in Kenya and outside we have like a Nigerian living in the UK and they want to participate in the building of businesses in Kenya because they see the land in East Africa they see the bigger picture we need to stop that boundaries and thinking systems put to us from the day we start school that are not ours. I, I, I just look at it and I'm like, my goodness, even giving birth, we ca some people make it illegal to give birth at home. My Shoshu gave birth to nine children at home and she would give birth, finish and go to the farm. I'm being brought into another world of pharmaceuticals that wants me to live on drugs all the rest of my life. None of those pharmaceuticals are in Kenya. Anytime I get sick, buy this medicine, buy this medicine, buy me. Ah, look at COVID. Ah, nobody has ever explained to us the truth about COVID. We just say it was a disease that came. How come right now it is still there? We are not dying the way we were told before we are dying. How come nobody can really tell us the truth about COVID? Mm. It's just us being put into systems into that systems. profit others. You know the funny, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. I, I love watching movies, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So this this movie, I was just I I, I had to come and watch it just mm -hmm. uh, open mm -hmm. my mind. I noticed mm -hmm. I love caramel popcorn. Yes, me too. <laughs> then every time I go to movie nowadays, there yeah. are no caramel popcorn. Yeah. So I asked one of the ladies. Mm. Let me ask. Mm. It's been like three months now. Yeah. They, actually, the only reason sometimes I go to a movie yeah. is to eat caramel yeah. popcorn. <laughs> I asked her, mm. how come there are no caramel popcorns? Yeah. And she told me, mm -hmm. they are still waiting for the, I don't know, the powder mm -hmm. or the liquid, mm -hmm. Hijafika Kenya. Eh. And I was asking mm -hmm. myself, mm -hmm. you want to tell me mm -hmm. in the whole Kenya, mm -hmm. the reason we cannot eat caramel popcorns right now yes. in any movie mm -hmm. centers, mm -hmm. it's because we are still waiting for some powder yes. or some liquid mm -hmm. to come from a foreign country so that we can start exactly. having caramel popcorns. And we have that mindset. Nobody there could see this is a business opportunity. Let's do this in Kenya. Let us now make our own things. Do you know in Kenya, there are, people say there's no business. Do you know how many business opportunities that are there? All these things we get in the West, why can't we do it ourselves? It's a business opportunity for you. And a lot of I'm us... I'm going to make caramel powder. Exactly. West gets are in center. All the, the and actually, buy. They are no, there is no and caramel popcorn. Caramel. It even look it's like caramel. Three? I yeah. look like caramel. Yeah. Call it lean caramel. By the don't they are trademark that one. I've trademarked. I am with a business Thank guru. Don't lean try caramel. Lean caramel. You will eat it. You know? as we, and you say, eat it as, as you, you watch my show. As you eat. Yeah. <laughs> and then after that, you put your caramel <laughs> leg like this. As you watch my show. <laughs> Without cool your do. caramel. <laughs> There yes. are the, let me tell you a word God gave me to yeah. give people. He said, because there is an economic shakeup coming up, tell people to begin to build, especially here in Africa, have many uh, streams of making money. And there is one for you. And God was telling me, uh, if you ask me, I will give you ideas. And God has actually been giving me ideas yes. of... Um, how to just make money, even when I'm at home, because he told me they will try and have another lockdown. Something else is still coming, and we will have another lockdown. And he said, think of things that you can do when you're still at home. You don't need to be selling caramel, yaline everywhere, ukitembea, utatutupia, tukwa supermarkets, we'll go buy online. Joshua J. Karanjo, eh? Lynn's Caramel, Lins please. Car yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one we are yeah. uh, 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 And wait. you know, if yes. in the supermarket, because there is an awareness happening, mm -hmm. especially even with young people. Do you know in the supermarket, if I went and I found, people say it's the cost of production, but I found Lynn Caramel costing double. 
uh, of a uh, one that mm. is coming from the west mm. i'll buy lean caramel for, stay for yeah. the support yeah a lot goes on mm. but do you know one thing that we also need to understand like yes. for example even when i give a word of things that are happening uh, and telling people invest in it mm. doesn't mean because god has said it when you venture into it it will be smooth Good. that's the thing people sometimes don't get it will not be as smooth it will be difficult but it's all part of training yes. to make you better and to be able to receive more. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a shift happening. There's a transfer of wealth and power that is happening. It's part of the overtime. Africa is really going to enjoy this. Women are going to enjoy this. The youth are going to enjoy yes. uh, this overturn all over the yeah. world. And even for me, as I explore what this overturn is, it still doesn't come easy. Yeah. I have to fight for it. I have to. Last week I went to the ESC in Arusha. I am fighting and I've been pushing. I went there one time I told them please God says he wants the DRC being part of the East African community do it and I was I started doing stories and calling the head of the ESC I've done this story you see this thing is can work out and he would agree he says yes the DRC is important and eventually his him and his team worked for the inclusion of the, the DRC. DRC and even the day when he went finally to the to DRC and yeah. to meet with the president yeah. he was like you've been so passionate yes. about DRC come and we went with him to, to wow. state house but it uh, but throughout uh, it doesn't mean that my journey it's has smooth. been smooth because God said it no it God gave me the strategy he told me begin to pray for DRC I uh, don't want to let you go but you've been incredible thank you you know thank now you I see mean. what my mom saw in it, you yes. before you even <laughs> just look at that camera I have to visit to. she's have... called she's famously called Mama Shiko Mama Shiko I now I see what my mom <laughs> would see yes, in you so yes. tell my mom something Mama Shiko I just want to say thank you so much for loving me um, thank you for loving me even when I didn't know you even when I had nothing to even give you thank you for believing in me and seeing what I was carrying even before I knew uh, what I was carrying thank you for loving me when there were bad stories about me good stories about me you are always there for me and one thing I can say I am who I am today because of people like you I will never forget that there are many who have stood with me who have been praying for me because I know you are not watching silently and there are many good things you said over my life that still protect me until today and have brought me the success that I have today and the future success that is coming yes. it is because of you I love you so much may God bless you may he continue to extend your days you will live long you will enjoy the land you will enjoy your grandchildren and your great grandchildren and in good health. I love you, mommy. Aww. And you're not just Mama Shiko, you're also Mama Sisi. There you go. <laughs> she is gonna feel so good. God, my mom. I, I have never <laughs> seen my mom yes. love mm. when you came on this. She's in the case, India. Mm. So, mom, the, I had to do it. Yes. That's for you. you. So, you. at least, you see, you lose this is I see and now yes. I, I, I I tend to think my mom is a very intuitive person yes. she's I, yes. I, I think honestly my mom is my hero yeah. so I, I I feel like just yesterday I was wondering how mm -hmm. she has been able to maneuver yes. through life the way yes. she's been able to mm. and I just think I'm understanding there's so much grace in that That's woman true. that I can't even figure out by yes. myself so I just said I will not keep yeah. digging and yeah. wondering how yeah. did my mom mm. make it through mm. but I just know there's a lot of special grace yeah, in her yeah. that enabled her to and get us bring here, up a you know? like you. Yeah, it's it, beautiful. It talks a lot about her. It is, it yes, is beautiful. You yes. want to see her? Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to. In her. fact, we need to go visit there. her. Hey, she's I know. So this, hot. I, I cannot put she's this in public. So but, yeah, yeah, but this was like 10. Uh -huh. This this particular day. Yes. This I don't know. We had gone to do something together. Mm. I can't remember. Kama ni shamba tulikuwa tumeenda kuangalia. It's almost 10 years plus wow. ago. So She's when I, still so yeah. hard. And you can see the kindness and love in nah, her I love eyes. her. I love her. Mm. Now I can see what she yes. saw in me. Yes. She has a way of seeing things. And then 10 years later you're like, who 
me this is what yeah. my mom but so I knew Lynn you have it you because I know there are people who even have wanted an interview and you said no yeah. you could tell this story is a lie yeah. Yeah. yeah you have a way and you have a way of connecting with people yeah. that makes us and as, you, you know the dangerous thing about you, Lynn, you can even bring a madara here and we sit and listen to how you ask the questions. We'll feel, oh, aki we are madara. Ay, oh, oh my God. Eh? There is a way you bring out the, for people to have understanding yeah. for others and to help us see people oh, as the human it. beings yes. that they are. And uh, it really helps in healing wounds. You know, when you're watching a madara, what it mm. is, you are watching the murderer and you're beginning to see actually there are things in that past murderer even me they are in me so I cannot be a pretender and go judging everybody yes. Lynn has helped me to understand before I point fingers let me begin to check Aww. myself I appreciate you bring that. healing thank you thank you I, I really thank God I, for I, you. and we, we, we I said I will not let you down mm -hmm. I will not let you <laughs> hey, down you can never. I am uh, now I'll consider <laughs> going to the US Please, <laughs> I know you will the, help I you, know Lynn. there are people who are here they are happy thinking yeah uh, no we will I will help you in fact after this we are making a phone call ah, let's make in that the call US. in the u.s in the u.s mm. mm. yeah. god mm. would you come back and have conversations with us oh yes oh yes i really liked like there was a time you had a panel yeah uh, I, and I was, I love, I love seeing, I, I really liked the way there was growth yes. and you continue to grow mm -hmm. and you have never been, despite being a great celebrity, your eyes have never moved from the purpose and it is always about the people. Mm -hmm. It is always, how can I do it now better and bigger? How mm -hmm. can I now reach uh, more people? Mm -hmm. So for me, I am always your number one fan. Wow. If you need my support, yes. me, any and I support you fake support ya kanisa uwa real yes. tunaombe anga mtu yes. hata kitaji network tunampe yeah. hata kitaji pesa tunampe yeah. eh, eh, hiyo ni kazi yes. yetu ya ya yeah. kanisa checkbook ya sindi eh, kwa ni ya yetu <laughs> hata tunataka <laughs> tuna <laughs> tuna tuna <laughs> pounds pounds <laughs> haraka eh? haraka haraka you just that's say, how we move we stand we stand no yes. i appreciate it mm -hmm. i I think for me, as someone who who came later mm. after people like you, mm. I can only say thank you for paving way. And for me, it's, it's more of a challenge yes. because I'm like, who am I paving way mm, for? Mm, yes. Will someone sit with me maybe 10 years and mm. say, I paved way mm. for them. So also for me, it's more of who am I paving way for yeah, right now? Yes, yeah. Who am I helping mm, mm, in their career? Yes. Who am I nurturing? Mm, who yes. am I mentoring? Mm. Who will come and say, mm. The same way I can say about yes. people like you, Julie Gishuru, mm. Sophie Kenye, mm. uh, Catherine Kasavuli, the late like. Yes. I saw them, I got inspired, mm -hmm. and this is why yeah. I feel like I'm where yes. I am. So I feel for me that's a great mm -hmm. challenge. Mm -hmm. I'll take it because yes. I want someone to sit with me 10 years yes. later and yeah. say, Lynn, you remember when mm -hmm. we used to watch it? Yeah. This motivated and, and me. People to do this and people in South Africa saying it is Lynn. Yes. People in Mozambique saying it, it is, is Lynn. People in Uganda saying, saying it is Lynn. You know? uh, and, and, and that is something that you're going to see in your lifetime. Yeah. Uh, for sure. For so sure. we celebrate you, yeah. continue with the big dream, yes. and know there are people behind you. And thank you for mm. my flowers. Karibu. They are beautiful. Where are my like flowers? Yeah. They are beautiful. Like <laughs> no, no, this. I'm yeah. just, I got flowers <laughs> from Daddy Owen. Uh, oh. the daddy did it. Uh, chukua. <laughs> but no, today I got this beautiful. I'm beginning I'm for, like for someone who uh -huh. is not a great fan of flowers. Yes. Because for me, the fear with flowers yeah. is the fading part. Yeah, yeah. I've always been scared yes. of, they are so beautiful yeah, now. Yeah. And then they start, but mm. I'm beginning. I am loving and getting my life. flowers. Yeah, yeah the, the syndrome was imposter yes, syndrome. Yes, exactly. I'm beginning to think I'm enough. Yeah. I'm beginning oh, to believe I am, I am and more than enough. It. And I deserve yes. it. And I deserve more flowers. Yeah, yeah. So thank you for this gift. Karibu. Coming from a phenomenal woman like you. Thank for you. me, sitting with it, it's like I'm sitting with Amman Po. It's like I'm actually sitting. And see, me, I'm feeling You know, so. I, I, I Mama, I Mama, made I made it. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't take it for granted. So I mm. hope you guys love love the flowers as well mm. but I love them and thank you so much Cynthia for you. just coming and inspiring us and 
awakening. Yes. Because, man, I don't think people will watch this interview and remain the same. That's my prayer. Yeah, I don't think I, that's so. That's my prayer, that yeah. they will live the life they mm. have been called for, yeah. uh, which is a good and a very good life that good God life. has for them. Yes. yes. Not a life of mm -mm. fear, mm -mm. confusion, mm -mm. poverty. Mm -mm. Yes. Now, but what legacy are you looking into leaving behind? Maybe if I should ask, and also in case we left out anything, yes. feel free to briefly uh, mm. address it. I, I, for me, the legacy that I want to leave, the one thing that drives me is I always tell myself, I want people to say, she came, she saw, she conquered. Yes. Any challenge, problem I see, I like it. We had a meeting the other day uh, in Kibra uh, from the office of the MP, and they were looking at me like, would you be able to, we have this, and I was like, tell me your challenges. Uh, I'm here to bring solutions. They said, would you be able to handle uh, this? I said, yes, yes, that's what I've been called for. Yeah. My work is to come and conquer. And the people in Kibra will say there was a lady mm. called Cynthia uh, who did this for us with so much love. There's nothing you cannot conquer without love because God is love. So my work is to conquer and make sure that I leave this earth a better place yeah. than how I found oh. it and a better people yeah. than uh, how I found it. Fast met them. Yes. Mm. Good. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shall we wind up? Please. But we must have caramel popcorn, popcorn. sometimes. Lynn's very soon. Very soon. And yes. I will take a photo. I will be asking you. I will be asking you. I will be caramel popcorn. I will be asking you. Pressure is real. <laughs> the pressure is real, man. But let me tell you, I just think sometimes you need a bit of push. Yes. Because you can also be in your comfort zone. Yeah. And you need other people to look at you and see also yes. the greatness yeah. that you can come yes. with. And be able to challenge you and mm. tell you. Yeah. You have Amka. such a great brand. Yes, Amka. Yeah, Amka. yeah, use it. Use Ours. It. Mm. You talked about it even before many people knew yes, it. So, yes. look at us now. Yes, I knew, yeah. Yeah. Karibu ni ulizo, shetani hapa ni wapi, but... <laughs> <laughs> Let me not be petty, not today. <laughs> Let me not be petty, not today. But anyways, yes. uh, how, how can people best, I know how I, ca I connect mm, with mm, you. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm able to say, I've seen Dia's number. Yes, yeah. I ha have her on my Instagram. Mm, mm. But if anyone wants, wants to connect to out, with you, yes. how can they connect um, with you? They can reach out uh, through Instagram. Yes. Uh, that's the page that people use the most yes. DM me yeah. uh, on Cynthia Nyamai yeah. on my Instagram yeah. page and I will respond mm. back even for the ministry uh, we also have a page on mm. Instagram you can reach out to yeah. there it's called RIG RIG East Africa yes. uh, standing for the restoration of the Isaka's generation yes. mm. good reach out yes. and we have a Bible study yeah. uh, now we've reduced because we have many classes mm. But Monday, Wednesday, like last night we mm -hmm. had one. So Monday, Wednesdays, and also on Saturday. Yes. Uh, it's live on Instagram. Mm. Or if you want to catch up with the other teachings, uh, it's just there on Good. Instagram. Yeah. Uh, and you can join us, know the times that we are in, mm. and what to do with and it. And what to do. Mm. It's been amazing. Thank you. I can Lynn. finally say I got to host yes. the beautiful Hey, and I've been on Lynn's show. And you've been hey, on hey, Lynn's hey, show. Hey, hey. Now fact, what is like? I need a photo. What is? Oh, uh, I need a. Uh, later, hey. later on it, I teach you your teacher. Yes, you know. What I, I know. I need to end up. <laughs> <laughs> then the rest we can do behind the scene. But yes. thank you so much thank for you. coming. It's thank been you. it's been beautiful. Mm, you've you you you've, you've just uh. It's like there was something in me that needed a bit of. Wait wait. Stop, uh, Acha. We want. You're yes. the voice of Africa. Mama. Oh, God, I you take it. I receive it. I well. receive it. Mm. So it was more of, hey, we, we, Amka. Mm. And we need that yes. once in our life. Yes, we need true. that. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, ah, I hate that we are coming to an end of an amazing episode. But knowing Cynthia, I know definitely she'll be back huh, on this platform. Yeah. And just go on the comment section and tell me what did you, what, what is your take home from today's conversation? Mm -hmm. And what else would you want us to have Cynthia for? Guys, Africa, rise up. Hey, Africa, wake up. Rise up, Africa. There's so much in us. There's so many things we can do together. Collaborations over competition. Don't 
be afraid. He who he who brought you here had plans for you even before you knew yourself so wherever you are and you feel a bit discouraged ah please 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 uh, look look at and I love the fact you said challenges will always be there. Yes. Just because God has commissioned yes. it does not mean it's going to be smooth. Yes, yes. We forget so fast. It, yeah. Look at the Moses, mm. his journey, yes, even not Joseph. being able to reach yeah, the yes, destination. Yes. So it's not going to be easy just because it was commissioned yes. by God. But mm. in all days, mm. he will always be present yes. and he will always be there. Mm. So let me know what your take home is, is from today's conversation. What a lovely one. I feel like, God, I don't know what rebuilding is doing to me but it's rebuilding me sorry it's rebuilding me by force by fire i don't know what it's doing to me but god it's a very much needed space even for me as an individual so on the comment section let me know what your take home is and of course i have to say thank you to our beautiful people you guys for watching our partners at king's developers limited for partnering with us there were days we were like oh my god we don't have anyone partners and now look at God bringing them in plenty. Ah, guys, don't be a um, see your go pay Maisha. So Kings Developers Limited Asante Sana. And as I said, the only reason I'm talking about them is because I know they are credible and they are authentic. And I wouldn't want to push a brand to you. If I knew later on, you'll be looking at me. This is me telling you about beautiful structures, beautiful buildings, beautiful apartments, affordable, high-end, whichever way, whichever, whichever budget it is, they can cater for you. And for people who are meeting the standards, they have great amenities. So it's not not like you will go there and your tiles are from Sijui Wapi. They are taking care of you. They have standards. So if you are looking into owning a home, call them. Kings Developers Limited are right here. And just tell them, I would want to own a home. How do I go about it? Or send me an email at info at lnn.digital. But I want to say thank you to my incredible team. Leo Muga, Nasmail, Anaskia, Tutol, Dark, and Hansa, Manajiangalia. Am I the one? Muga, you tall? Are you tall? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and Gafalia Kiskia Dark is like, that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mina Scola, we are just here learning lessons. So thank you so much, my incredible people, for always coming through. And of course, to our amazing editors, Kelvin and Sam, for compiling this episode and making sure it reaches you guys right on time. I hope this was a beautiful episode for you. Even if it touches one person, then my job here is done. Till next time, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my